Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Review. And today we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime Transformers Red Series RC figure. I gotta say guys, this is a very nice figure. This, this Red Series doing. Uh, Red Series, it reminds you, it does stand for Robot Enhanced Design. And they are Walmart exclusives. But anyways guys, we're gonna take a look at the packaging here. So as you can see, there's a picture of RC in, on, in the window. On the side here, you get the classic showing of all the different accessories it comes with. On the back, you get the product images here of RC with her different items and weapons. And then on the side here, you get the continued art image of RC. There's not much else at the top or at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack open RC. So here is RC out of the packaging. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. Uh... It's very well, it's very well designed, and it looks exactly like she did in the uh, classic Transformers Prime TV show that I grew up watching and loved it. Uh, I think the only thing is instead of pink, they used the, this weird rose pink kind of color, more metallic, but uh, it's still really good. Um, but taking a look at the figure, we're going to take a look at the accessories first. So to start off, we get we'll do with the biggest accessory which is this very large dark energon cube, as you can see, which I was a little surprised with because I would think they would have given her a normal energon cube and saved the dark energon for a Decepticon, but it is what it is. It's very nicely done. It's got all this nice detailing in it, as you can see. It's very well made. It's a giant hunk of energon here. So there's that. And then she does come with Two different interchangeable hands, two trigger finger hands, and two fisted hands. Uh, and then she comes with her arm blades and her guns hands because she does, in that Transformers Prime, instead of holding guns, their hands turned into guns. Let's start off with the arm blades here. We'll bring her over. So what you do is you get the arm up here. And you can see there's a little port right in here. You can take the blade and there's a little tab there. So you can see you just hook it in like so and that's how the arm blades attach and then the next accessory is an attachment for the blades which was weird because on the box it showed purple it was purplish color but with the figures they came in as a gray plastic but for these you just attach these this little clips on here onto these little ports there and so you just hook it on here and it makes it look like she just slashed something with her sword arm but as you can see it's very well done and she can obviously use both of them at the same time. So, just like she did in the TV show, as you can see there. And then for her last accessory, I will, for her other accessories, uh, you can see, I'll pull off this hand to show it. So you can see she does have her trigger finger hands, which do just peg in like so. She can use these. And then she, her last accessory is her gun hands. And as you can see, they just peg in right where the hand would be. And you can see she's going to just hold out her blasters here. Have her guns loaded and everything. But that's really it. As far as her accessories. But like I did say, as you can see on the figure, she's very well designed. It's very accurate to screen, how the screen looks for the Transformer Prime RC. Which, that's the one thing I really like about the red designs. Even though they don't transform, they will they make them as screen accurate as possible. Because this is very screen accurate for the Transformers Prime RC. So I'm very happy they did that. But uh, one of the gimmicks she does have is they did this with her and Cheetor. And they're doing that with the newer ones. Is if you grab here at the chest plate, you can pull it off. And you can see inside the spark chamber and everything. And some of the circuitry done there. So you can see that, and like I said, they did that with the Cheetor figure too. But as you can see, and it just pegs right back on, it doesn't fall off or anything. So, but now we're going to get into her articulation. So for her head, she can look up that far, and look down that far, which isn't very much at all, but like, she does rotate 360. That's really it with this one. Uh, her arms can move up that far, down that far, rotate 360, elbows go up, and swivel around. Then she has a swivel here at the uh, arm guard, and then she her wrists swivel, and all the hands hinge up and down. 
Uh, for her waist, she does have a slight swivel here, but mine is super tight. Uh, she can't crunch forward very far, but she does have a back crunch, which is really far. So there's that. And then for her legs, she can kick forward that far, back that far, legs spread out that far. She has thigh swivels, single joint knee that bends at least 90 degrees. And then here, instead of an ankle pivot, it's more of a toe bend. And then you can see it goes down, up, and does pivot. And so that's really it for the articulation on the RC figure. So now we'll get her all set up to do some size comparisons. So here is RC, and she is standing at just, a, just above six inches tall. And for our size comparisons, here she is. Next to our last figure review, the Star Wars Black Series Elite Squad Clone Trooper. So you can see how they scale together. Here she is next to some of her fellow Red Series Transformers. You have her next to Optimus Prime, G1 Optimus Prime. G1 Megatron and G1 Soundwave and then for your basic 6 inch scale comparison here she is next to the Studio Series Hot Rod figure the Toy Fair Deluxe Class Snake Eyes figure And the Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series Captain Rex figure. So you can see how they all scale together. So here is RC in an action pose, blades at the ready. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I do highly recommend this figure if you are a fan of the Transformers Prime line or Transformers Prime show or the Transformers Red line. Excuse me. Um... I do recommend getting this figure. Uh, like I said, it's a Walmart exclusive line, so you'll have to get them from Walmart. But I am, I know it's weird. It's very weird getting Transformers that don't transform. But I am happy that they've made them for those from, sh made them based off characters from shows where they wouldn't look as film accurate transforming. So I'm, that's one thing I'm very happy about. Um, is like, for example, RC and the other Transformer Prime guys, they look, they don't, but they're transforming figures. They don't look as accurate on screen as they would in toy form. So that's why I'm very happy they're making these. They made these guys. Uh, I'm actually hoping for Transformers Prime. They made, they would do Wheeljack because he was one of my he was one of my favorites for uh, Transformers Prime. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you want to see reviewed. I'll try and get a review for you guys. And let me know what I can do next for the channel, and I'll do it. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next signing episode of Bearcat Reviews.